Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. of all the potions you've brewed. resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Incendio. Revelio. Hobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here?
Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Incendio. Confringo. Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio. 
Good finger. Well, that didn't sound particularly reassuring. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. 
Revelio. Incendio. Oh no. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Revelio. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Revelio. Revelio. table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Revelio. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful! Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. 
You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. When you have a moment, please come and talk to Deke. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. What do we have here? A demigod. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Deke 
Pete never grows tired of the room's surprises, we now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Everything's all right now. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestral's Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before.
has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts, and Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Indeed, thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. said that travel broadens the mind. A blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. Seen how much a single feather fetches? <laughs> Just imagine the whole blooming bird. Oh, should have stayed at the castle. He's weak. Yes, he is. When's the last time you saw him catch a beast? Let's Rookwoods don't sit here. They say you cast us out for insanity. We had that Merlin woman till you shut up. Scythio! Before we forget about that goblin help you. Scythio! I've seen you riding around with filthy centaurs rescuing snidgets. How can you insist? Well done for a child. A body can help you! I know you don't balk at the dark arts. Propendo! Well, well. Not stupid fighters! Defendo! Just how many witches and wizards have you finished off? Potato! Your poaching days are over. Defendo! Incendio! More poachers? How many are there? Who 
lose there. Found. Glacius, defend us. Incendio. Let me out, son. You're the one who defeated Pagano. Glacius. And that woman, isn't it? One for Bringo. Rebellion. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Revelio. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Accio. Wingardium Levitacium. Revelio. Shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. There it is again. Revelio.
I thought you're a deadly great spider. Rebellion. you somewhere safe.
Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. I should investigate. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable! Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. <laughs> 